Okay, so when you go to your Illustrator, right? Okay, you first thing you will see there is a this welcome to Illustrator screen here. On the bottom here, you will see some of the previously uh, opened file, and then over here you see there is a create new and open. If you have existing file, then you can go to open. And let's say, for example, for today, we're going to create a new uh, document. Let's say I go to create new. So when you create new, okay, the first thing you need to see is your, uh, the size and the unit, number one, the most important. If, if you're creating some uh, simple design with a standard setting, you can choose from the preset on top. Okay, you can see there is a mobile, web, print, film, and video illustration. Okay, let's say I go to web, for example, and then I can choose a web large. Okay, the size is 1920-1080 pixel. Okay, this is a full HD size. All right, and you still can edit the size. If let's say, for example, you decided you want, to, you want a, a square size, for example, then make sure you, you need is pixel, and then the width and the height, you change accordingly. Okay, for example, I put uh, 2000 by 2000 pixel, let's say. Okay, this is size. Very important, you need to know the size that you're going to create. But since this is a vector drawing, okay, you can design it in a very small size. Let's say I put 200 pixel by 200 pixel. Okay, and in future, I can make it as big as billboard size also can, no problem. Okay, the most important one is the size for the proportionate. For example, uh, Facebook post need to be landscape. And then uh, let's say Facebook story need to be portrait. And let's say for Instagram need to be square size. Okay, that one you need to specify first. All right, so let's say I want to create for uh, Instagram. So I put 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel. All right, so size is very important. And let's say if you are doing for printing purpose, then you have to change your unit first. Change the unit to centimeter, let's say, and then you key in accordingly. Let's say you want to do A4 size. So you type 21 height or width, and then 29.7 centimeter height. All right, so check the size very, very carefully. Unit first, change the unit first, then only you set the, uh, uh, the width and the height. Okay, let's say I choose a web large, which is a 1920-1080. And then after that, you have orientation. Orientation, whether you want it to be uh, portrait or landscape. Okay, you see, when I change the orientation, the value is exchange. Right, so let's say I remain as a landscape. And then you have artboard. Okay, artboard is the uh, number of pages, let's say. Okay, something like pages. How many pages do you want to... Uh, add into your document. So for now, we just leave it as one artboard. Then you have your bleeding. Bleeding is for your printing purpose only. Okay, if you are printing, uh, designing for print, uh, let's say uh, A4 poster or A4 flyer, okay, then you can add the bleeding. Okay, for now, we don't have to use this. And then below that, there is an advanced option. You click the advanced option. Okay, you will see there is a color mode. If you're doing anything to do with uh, digital media for website, for uh, social media, for uh, TV, for presentation, okay, anything to do with digital media, the color mode should be RGB. All right, don't forget RGB is red, green, and blue. And this red, green, and blue is a basic color for light. Okay, because all digital media, right, we will consume from a screen. Okay, whether it's a computer screen or Sir? a TV screen, yes. Uh, kalau CMYK more like to printing lah. Yes, yes. Kalau... CMYK memang untuk printing sahaja. Kalau kita guna RGB, tak elok lah untuk print. Okay, later I will show you the difference between RGB dengan CMYK eh. Alright. Okay, alright. Okay, 8R, 8R photo printing, what size? It's something like a... Hello, let's say for example, I go to uh, print. Okay, so dia tak ada kat sini. All right, so let's say for example, any of the size, you are not sure what is the measurement. Okay, what you can do is you can always go to your Google. Okay, you go to Google and then katakan 
uh, boss you suruh buat untuk uh, what you call uh, Facebook post let's say. Okay, you go to Google, you type Facebook post size. Okay, then you it will show you the size. Let's say I don't know what is a 4R size or 8R size photo. Okay, 8R size. Faham? Always Google kan dalam phone pun boleh search kan. Alright, so make sure you use your Google to check the sizes. Okay, in this case, when I put 8R, I get 8 by 10 and then there is a 8 by 12 also. Why there is two measurement? Mm -hmm. Just double check. Both are 8 R. Eh? If not mistaken, it's a uh, 8 by 10. Okay, 8 by 10, and then it doesn't show up. Okay, let's say I assume uh, 8 by 10 inches. Okay, so when you go to your illustrator, make sure you change the unit first. Okay, change the unit to inches, and then you type 8 by 10. Something like this. Okay, and you, when you are printing, okay, you can change the color mode to CMYK. Understand? Understand, sir. Okay, all right. So for now, I'm going to leave it as a uh, uh, web, web large, and then RGB color mode, and then raster effect. Okay, raster effect for digital media, you use 72. Okay, and if you are going to print, right, and then you choose 300. Okay, and if you are do, creating a bunting or banner, let's say, a bigger size printing, large format printing, then you can lower down the, uh, the raster effect to, let's say, 150. All right, so something like this. Okay, let's say I go to change this to 72. Color mode is RGB, and then I reset my size, that's my unit, and then I click create. Okay, setakat ni ada soalan tak? Anyone got any questions? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Nak tanya lah. Yeah. Uh, tapi uh, saya cakap BM boleh? Boleh, boleh, boleh. Uh, yeah, saya again, punya boleh. AI ni uh, masa first, first keluar dia tak keluar yang form ni. Macam dia kosong okay. lah. Yes, I understand that. Okay, some uh, older version of uh, uh, Illustrator dia it, it won't show up your this uh, welcome screen. Okay, let's say I close first, huh? And then. I go to create new katakan, let's say, eh? simply I create new, okay, you will get a blank screen, macam ni, contoh saja, eh? macam ni, something like this lah, okay, so what you do is, you go to file and then new, okay, then you will get something like this, and maybe the interface is not the same, okay, the most important one is this part, you have your unit, size, and then kalau ada printing, you add bleeding, kalau tak, you go to color mode, and then raster effect. Faham? Faham, sir. Okay, file new. Orientation, any big difference? Okay, orientation, it depends on how you want to design. Let's say, for example, I choose my, this size. I want to create a post for Facebook. Okay, Facebook should be landscape. Landscape. All right? So, for example, Let's say I type 1200 by three, uh, 630. Okay, so you can see the orientation now. It selected the landscape. But if I choose orientation portrait, this is not suitable for Facebook post. Understand or not? Orientation? Sinji, do you understand? All right. So orientation depends on how what you want to design, and then let's say if you are creating a flyer, okay. Normally, normally when we read a flyer, right, we will hold it in a portrait position, okay. If for size, when we want to read, we hold it in a portrait size, not landscape. All right, unless if you want to stick it on a wall, then you can create a landscape size. All right. Okay. Let's say I go back to my web large. I check all this and then uh, RGB screen, okay, unit pixel, and then the size is correct. Then I go to create. Okay, let's say I close the existing one. So you will get a, 
a document open, something like this. A white color screen, something like this. I want you all to create new document also, same setting, something like this. You go to web and then choose web large, also can. Or you change the unit, key in the size, and then you change the color mode, change the uh, raster effect. Can you all do that now? Done already? Yes, sir. Can you please type in the chat box so that I know if you're done or not? <coughs> not yet. On the way. Uh, Council Leo, tell again what? Huh? You, the, uh, the info of the size. Okay. Can you see this? Can you see my screen? Uh, yes. You go to web and then you choose web large and then you go to create. Three things only. Web, Sir. web large and then create. Uh, yes. So sorry, uh, how come I don't have the preset detail? Uh? I click new, then just uh, blank only. Don't have the preset detail. Okay, then. Uh, are you uh, using Illustrator or not? Adobe Illustrator? Yeah, yeah, AI. Uh, can you share your screen? Uh, yeah, sure. Wait, I uh. forgot how to share already. Share screen. Mm. <coughs> yes. One. Mm. <coughs> ah, sir, can you see? Okay, go to file new. File. New like this oh. oh uh then something wrong with your software. Oh, is it okay? So what you do, you close this. Okay. Okay, you see on the top there it says untitled five, and then there is a percentage, then it says CMYK. Can you see that? Wait, uh wait. On top, ah, uh, uh, CNYK, that one, uh, okay. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, so color mode should be RGB, right? Uh, but here is a CMYK. Uh. Uh -huh. uh, so we have to change law. So uh -huh. you close one of the document. Okay. Close. Okay, so now you have one. You go to file. File. Document setup. Document setup, okay. Okay, uh. and then the unit you change to pixel. Pixel. Okay. Then yeah. you choose edit artboard. Edit uh, 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 okay. And then you press enter in your keyboard. Enter. And then can you see the width and the height? You change to 1920. Uh, width. width first, width, width. Uh, one, 1920. Okay. One nine two zero. Eh, how come cannot? Delete first. Delete first. Everything. Highlight first. Everything. One nine two zero. And then height is uh, one zero eight zero. One zero eight zero. Yeah. Click OK. OK. Okay, then you go to file. File. Mm -hmm. ah. Then you can, can you see color mode? Document color mode. Yeah. Change to RGB. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, that's it. Then you press okay. control and zero. Control and you know, make it smaller. I just mm -hmm. view. Yeah. And then you go to your selection tool. On the top there, the toolbar, there is a black color arrow. Top up. Black color. Uh, click that. Uh, that's it. Uh, then wait for me for a while. Okay, thank you, sir. All right. Sir, then I have to download another software. That means my software got problem. Uh, only the first screen got problem, no? Uh, it's okay, lah. Never mind, lah. It's okay, no problem. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. So again, just I repeat. I go to file new, and then you choose web, web large, and then click create. Okay. Then you will get this uh, screen. Okay. Uh, in Illustrator, on the top here, we call it uh, main menu. 
file, edit, object type, okay? All this we call it as main menu, okay? And then below that, there is some options, okay? We call it uh, option bar or uh, option panel on top. Below the main menu, there is an option for selected tools. For example, if I choose my selection tool, then my tool will be slightly different. The option will be slightly different. If I choose my pen tool, okay? For example, when I choose pen tool, it's still the same. Let's say I go to a uh, type tool, text. You can see there is an option for me to change the uh, font type. Okay, if I change to uh, a brush tool, for example, then it will be different. If I choose uh, any other tools, you get some option over here for you to change. All right. And then the one on the left hand side, we call it as toolbar. Okay, this is our toolbar. Okay, where you have uh, all your tools to, for you to create your design. And then on the right hand side, you will see some panel. For example, properties panel, layer panel, library panel, and any panel that you don't have, you get it from window menu. You go to main menu, window, and then you choose the panel that you want. For example, let's say I want to use a color panel. So when I choose color, I get this panel. Okay, let's say for example, I want to apply gradient. Okay, I can go to window and then I choose gradient panel. Then I have this. Okay, I can all anytime click and drag and then I can dock or I can float it. Something like this. All right, clear? Yes, sir. Main menu, option, toolbar, and then panels. All right, okay. Now, if uh, let's say we want to refer to our sample image, right? Okay, we're going to place the image inside this document. Okay, any reference image or even if you want to put in your own images, you go to file and then you go to place. Okay, file, place. Let me share you uh, the image that I download just now. Okay, I'm placing the link in the chat box so you can click the uh, link and then you download the file. Yeah, done, sir. Okay, so after you have downloaded, Okay, you go to file and then you go to place. Okay, file, place, and then you choose your downloaded image. Okay, you choose your image and then choose place. Okay, once you press place, your image will be loaded in your cursor. You just have to click and drag, something like this. Okay, you just have to click and drag, then it will be loaded. Faham, Smora? Yeah, faham. Okay, can you place the image? All right, after you place your image, okay, let's say if you want to navigate into your document, means if you want to zoom in or zoom out, uh, okay, guys, uh, uh, please, please, please listen carefully and watch your screen. You don't do anything else, okay, and then uh, uh, if you left out and then don't come and ask. Unless if you sit in front of your computer, then you ask again, then it's fine. No problem. I can repeat 10 times, no problem. Okay, but make sure you pay attention. Okay, this one, the one I'm showing is very simple, very straightforward. Okay, after you download your image, you go to file and then you go to place. File, place. And then you choose your image, then click place. After you click place, the image will be in your cursor. You just have to click and drag. Mm. All right. Last letter, do we need to pay after? Okay, after seven days, you won't be able to use your software. All right, if uh, any one of you uh, installed the trial version, right? After seven days, you will not be able to use. In case if you still want to use, then you have to pay. You don't have to pay now, okay? Unless if you find it in Shopee ke, Lazada ke, whatever, uh, that one is up to you at your own risk, all right? Okay, did you manage to place your files, the images? Yeah, sure. Sir? Yeah. Kalau kita guna yang create pun, okay. Boleh? That, right. That's on your own risk lah. All right. I tak bagi tahu, eh? <laughs> uh, how big is the file? Why, why are you checking the file size? Uh, yes, it's a very small file. What's wrong with the file size? Okay. 
Okay, this is just a reference image. We are not going to use this to, you know, to, to, to output or whatever. Okay, the file size doesn't matter because this is a reference image. This is not going to be used for the uh, uh, designing. It's just for us to see only. Understand or not, guys? Yes. Okay, all right. So after you place your image, okay, let's say if I want to zoom in or to zoom out in my document, I press Control plus or Control minus to zoom in or zoom out, okay? And then I hold my space bar. Let's say, for example, I already zoom in at a small area, something like this. And then I hold my space bar, I click and drag to pan in the document. Understand? Yes. Control plus, control minus, and then control zero. Control zero is to fit your onboard to your view. Control zero. Okay, again, I repeat, control minus, in your keyboard, there is a control key and then plus and minus key, right? You press that. While holding the control, you press plus. While holding the control, you press minus. And then after you zoom in, and then if you want to view your image, you hold your space bar, you click and drag. Okay? Paham semua? Uh -huh. Can you try uh -huh. that? Control yeah. plus, control minus, dengan space bar. Hold your space bar, you click and drag. Okay, very important. Dapat? Dapat, sir. Okay, all right. Now, now please take a look at my screen. <coughs> Okay, let's say we want to draw this uh, uh, pencil here. Okay, and this is this pencil is not straight, not vertically straight. Okay, it has some rotation. But when you are designing, you create it in a straight form first. Then after you have completed, then only you rotate. Okay, so to draw this, okay, let's say I zoom out. Okay, the tools that we can use. Okay, for example. You have a lot of tools that you can use to create this. All right. For example, let's say I choose um, a rectangle shape. Let's say. Can you see there is a rectangle tool over here? Rectangle yes. tool. You click at the rectangle tool and then you click and drag in your document. Mm -hmm. Something like this. For the overall uh, uh, shape, the size. Mm -hmm. Okay. After that, okay, after that, you have to make other shapes. Okay, first you draw a rectangle shape and then you, I have to make it rounded. For example, on top here, the object is rounded. It has a round corner and here also is a bit curvy. Mm -hmm. Okay, later we'll do that. Then after that, here there is a white color line, which is also curvy. Okay, actually in this uh, image, right? This transparent because I can see the background color. So there is a black, uh, 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 transparent line, something like line, and then the objects are separated, different object. All right, and over here also same. And at the bottom here, there is a line, and also the shape is slightly different. Okay, so let's say for example, I go out. Okay, I go back to of my object here. And then if I want to draw a curvy line, okay, there is many ways to do that. Okay, one of the way is you can use your pen tool. Okay, you can use your pen tool, number one. And before that, before using the pen tool, you go to use your selection tool. Okay, there is two arrows here. There is a white color arrow and there is a black color arrow. Black color arrow is your selection tool. And then white color arrow is your direct selection tool. Whenever you want to select the entire object, you use your selection tool, the black color arrow. You click. Once you click at the object, you will see there is a small circle here at all the corners. You can click and drag this circle to make it rounded. The corner will become rounded. Okay, select your object using selection tool and then you click and drag this corner. Can you all do that now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Okay, uh, please do first. And then if you have any question, please let me know. If you've got any problem creating a curvy corner, please let me know. If done also, please let me know. Done, sir. Done. How about the rest? Done, sir. So I want to make the color, sir. Uh, Danish, how old are you? Uh, 13 years old, sir. Okay, this, this class is uh, meant for working adults. Okay, for adults, huh? Okay, you should understand this. Okay, if uh, if you have your kids uh, in the session, right? Okay, so make sure uh, I don't want to lag uh, the session. Okay, so if if we have a younger uh, children's right, then it will take forever for us to finish the lesson. Okay, so we will put the color shortly. Not yet. I haven't showed yet, right? Did I put any color now? No. Ah, uh, then why are you asking for color? All right, so please uh, try to follow along and uh, children, do not turn on your mic. All right, children are not allowed to turn on your mic, but you can follow along, no problem. All right, okay, thanks for understanding. All right, so after you make the object rounded, all right, and then let's say we, if you want to create this line, okay, this line, I'm going to use the pen tool now. All right, so I go back here. I go to my pen tool. Okay, I go to my pen tool and then I click first somewhere around here and then I bring my cursor to the opposite side and then I click and drag. Something like this. Once uh, you have done your uh, line here, then immediately you go to click the selection tool. Okay, I repeat one more time. <clears throat> I go to my pen tool. I click and let go the mouse. Bring my cursor to the opposite side. Something like this. And then I click and drag. Okay, to make it curvy. Then after that, you can click the selection tool or you can press the shortcut key for selection tool is V. Okay, you press V to stop the line. Something like this. Understand or not? Yeah. Okay, can you try to do this? Yes, V for selection tool. You guys done? Okay, if you made a mistake with your pen tool, right, you just undo and then do it again. Okay, to undo, you press Control Z. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. The, uh, sir, can repeat how to make it curve? I made yeah, the sure. line already. Sorry, sir. Sure, no problem. No problem. Okay, I go to my pen tool, number one. Okay, if you click and let go your mouse, you will get something like this. Okay, you will get the first point. The second point, you haven't clicked yet. Okay, and then you move your cursor to the opposite side. And then you click and pull your mouse and drag. Pull your mouse and drag at the second point. The first point, you just click and let go. The second point, you click and drag. Okay, try first. Okay, if you are done, right? Okay, please take a look at my screen now. You see, for example, here, there is a small gap over here. Okay, the reason for this gap is because the curve that I just drawn, it has a fill color, which is white color. Okay, how do I know? I can see from the toolbar here, there is a fill color over here. Okay, and then what I can do is I click at none. Okay, there is a white box with a red color line. Just click that to remove the fill color. Understand? Yes. Okay, something like this. Then after that, after you remove the fill color, again, uh, I repeat, you use your selection tool, you select your the new line, and then you go to your toolbar, there is a fill color and stroke color. 
Okay, make sure the fill color is on top. If I click the stroke color, now stroke color is on top. So make sure the fill color is on top and then you choose none. It will remove the fill color. Okay, after that, okay, after you remove this, and if you look at here, the shape is almost the same. One, two, and three. Okay, since the shape is same, you just have to duplicate your object. Duplicate the line. How to duplicate? Use your selection tool, select the object, you hold your alternate key in your keyboard. You see, whenever I press alternate key, there is a double arrow, black and white arrow. Click and drag. While holding alternate key, you click and drag. Okay, we have two now. Again, I hold my alternate and click and drag my line here. Something like this. Faham tak semua Faham. Okay, to move the object, let's say the position is not fine. Let's say uh, this, the first line is uh, uh, too low. Okay, so I need to move it up. So you use your selection tool, you click on the line and then you drag it up. Just click and drag the line up. Something like this. Okay, you can anytime you can always move the line. Dapat tak? Sorry sir, uh, saya cuma tak dapat cara nak copy yang tu. Okay, okay, understood. Okay, you go to your selection tool. Can you see there is a black color arrow? Selection tool, you click on the line. Okay, and then you hold your alternate key in your keyboard. Dekat keyboard ada ALT kan? A-L-T kan? Uh -huh. Okay, sambil tekan ALT, you click dan tarik dia punya line dia. Oh, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Sambil tekan alternate, you click and drag the line. Dia akan duplicate objek. Faham? Ya, nice. yeah, ya. Yeah. Alright. Okay. If I take a look at my design here. Okay. So, the line is done. And then, on the bottom of the shape here, we have to create something like this. Okay, it looks like a, 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 a triangle shape over here. All right, so to create this triangle shape, okay, you can use uh, other tools. For example, I zoom out. If you click and hold your rectangle tool, you will see there is a polygon tool. Okay, you click and hold the rectangle tool, you will find polygon tool. You click at the polygon tool and then if I click and drag now, I get a hexagon. Okay, I don't want a hexagon. I want a triangle shape, right? So I undo back. You just click and let go your mouse. When you click and let go your mouse, you will get this option box here for polygon. Then choose the number of sides to three. Okay, kita nak tiga sisi sahaja. So change the size to three. Then click OK. Something like this. I repeat one more time. You go to your polygon tool. How to go to polygon tool? You click and hold. Tekan jangan lepas mouse. Dekat rectangle tool. Then you choose your polygon. After choose polygon, you when you click and drag, you will get a hexagon by default. But we don't want a hexagon shape. We want triangle. So you just click and let go your mouse. Click and let go your mouse. Then you will get this option box. You key in the size to three. Okay, the number of sides, you change it to three and then you press OK. Faham? Faham, sir. Faham, sir. Yes. Who's that? Faham. Okay, dapat buat tak? Okay, very good. Okay, once you have done with the triangle, immediately you change the tool to selection tool. You go to your selection tool, you bring your cursor to the one of the corner, near to the corner. You see, when I bring my cursor, now my cursor is black color arrow. 
when I bring it to the near to the corner, don't touch the corner yet, slowly. When you bring it almost near to the corner, you will see a, a banded arrow, double arrow. Once you see that arrow, you click and then you hold your shift key and then you rotate. Something like this. I undo back, control Z. Okay. One way to rotate object is you bring your cursor to the near to the corner. Once you see there is a banded arrow, you click and then you hold your shift key and then you drag to rotate. This is one way to rotate. I undo back. Another way to rotate is you can go to object and then you go to transform, rotate. Okay, object, transform, rotate. And then the angle, I'm going to change it to 180 because we want this uh, uh, corner to be at the bottom. Okay, rotate this 180 and then click OK. Not copy, yeah? okay. Uh -huh. All right. Yes, After that, you just position this back to this position, something like this. You see, you'll see a purple color line. That is your smart guide. So that it is aligned to the center like this. Uh, yes, anyone got a question? Uh, GK Tan? Uh, done, sir. Okay, all right. Thank you, sir. Okay, after you place at the right position, then you will have to make it smaller. Okay, how to make it smaller? You can start from uh, the bottom. Let's say, for example, I bring my cursor to the bottom here. When I see there is a double arrow up and down, I click and then I hold my shift key and then I drag. Something like this. And then I zoom in. I press Ctrl and plus. And then make sure it is overlapping over here at this side and also this side okay, it doesn't look like in the center so what i do i try to move this a bit okay so now it is in the center <clears throat> something like this and you can adjust the 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 length of this select the object without pressing the shift you can also make it shorter or longer positioning the size of the triangle shape. Small Okay. Shall we proceed? Okay, and if you look at this, uh, the bottom line, right, it's almost to the edge here. So I need to adjust the position of this line nearer to somewhere around here. Can you see this? The position of this curve should be near to this triangle shape. Okay, and then after that, Okay, after that, what we do is, okay, let's say I want to, now we have all the lines ready. Okay, we just have to separate this object over here, separate the object, remove the extra lines. And then over here also, we need to combine this as one object, remove all these extra lines here first. All right, and this uh, triangle shape, later we will make it uh, rounded, not yet. Okay, so what we need to do is we have to select all. Okay, to select all, you use your selection tool, you click and drag to make selection like this. Okay, click and drag to make selection, something like this. And after making selection, after you select all your object, you go to your shape builder tool. Can you see my cursor? Shape builder tool. Shortcut is shift M. Okay, I'm going to choose my shape builder tool and then to remove any extra line, you hold your alternate key. Can you see my cursor with there is a plus icon? When I press alternate, it become minus, means remove. Okay, I hold my alternate key and then I remove this. I can click and drag or I can just simply click. When I bring my cursor on top, it will show red color, alternate and click. Alternate and click, alternate and click and drag also can. So for example here, alternate click and drag, alternate click and drag. Then I zoom in here. Okay, also I need to remove all these extra uh, lines here. Remove it. And let's say this one also remove. 
remove and remove. Okay, something like this. And this line also, I don't want this line. Alternate click and alternate click. Something like this. After I remove all this line, right? Okay, here you have to be very careful. Huh? Okay, make sure you don't remove unnecessary line. And all the shape here must be closed. Means there is a, there is a border over there. Okay, when I bring my mouse inside, it will be highlighted. Means I can click to create a shape. Okay, when I click, it will become one shape. Over here, I click. Over here, I click. And here, what I do, I click and drag to make it as one object, something like this. Okay, just for a preview purpose. So now I can actually move this line to separate the object, something like this. And this one also, I can bring it down. Then after that, only I make this object rounded. The top here, bottom here to become rounded. Okay. Faham tak? Faham tapi step banyak sangat. Okay, so I'm going to undo back. No worries, no worries. Uh, uh, siapa tu? Saya punya curve tu dia tak cantum dengan yang yang straight tu. Kenapa tak cantum? I tunjuk dia cantum kan? Ah, tapi saya punya tu dia macam hang melengkung tu kan. Tapi ah. garis dia tak cantum dengan tu. Itu. Maksudnya macam ni ke? Ah, uh, uh, tapi dia bawah bawah dia kosong. Macam ni ke? Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, dia punya garis lurus tu. Dia dia tak ada. Dia macam putus. Oh, dia terputus macam ni ke? Ah, yes. Ah, kan dah bagi tahu dah tadi. Ah, tak tengok screen lah tu. Okay, so Okay, anda separate. <laughs> so you select your object macam ni and then you go to your color panel ataupun dekat toolbar there is a stroke color, there is a fill color kat sini. Hitam putih kan? You click at the fill color kemudian you choose none. Okay, select dia punya curve dia and then you go to fill color and then you click none. Buang fill color. Alright. Untuk semua line. So let me just uh, do back. Alright, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. So now, if I want to remove all the extra line, first of all, you select everything. You select everything. Okay. And then you go to your shape builder tool. Shortcut your shift M. Okay. Once you go to shape builder tool, you hold your alternate key and then you click and drag the part that you want to remove. I want to remove this. Hold the alternate key, click and drag. Hold the alternate, click and drag. Hold the alternate, click and drag. Okay. After you remove this, right? Okay. You zoom in. Okay, zoom in at this area and then you remove some more. Okay, the extra over here, alternate click and drag, alternate click and drag, and then here as well, alternate click and drag, alternate click and drag. Okay, I already removed all the extra uh, uh, lines, but at the bottom here, one, two, three should be as one object, right? So I bring my cursor here in the middle of this top part here. You click and drag like this. Then you let go your mouse. It will become as one object. Faham? Faham. Okay. And then on top here pula. Okay, over here you just click one time, click one time, click one time. It will become as separate objects. Then if I go to my selection tool, I select the top part here, I move it up. Satu, dua, tiga, contoh. And then select both object, move up. Use your up, down arrow key in your keyboard. Satu, dua, tiga. Tekan naik atas. And then select tiga, tiga object. Satu, dua, tiga. So that the spacing dia akan sama. 
Jelas? Can you try first? Saya punya tak boleh buang. Dia punya garis yang nak buang. Hold your alternate key and then tekan dekat extra line. Tekan Alt. A-L-T. Sambil tekan Alt, you click to remove line. Sorry, so how to do the how to do the spacing now for the three thing again? Sorry. You you can select the object. You can move up using your mouse also can. Oh, okay. See? You click and drag. But when you use your mouse, right, the spacing may be not even. Okay. So what I did is I move using my arrow key in my keyboard. Okay. Use the arrow key in the keyboard. Select the object, press up arrow key in the keyboard. But how is it up. separate? That means like because you, you drew one line in, in the middle, right? So mm -hmm. you can just drag it to become two. That means three parts are yeah, like that. Now, how to move it? Now, if I move it, okay. the whole object will move, right? Yeah, yeah. Correct? Correct. That's why we use the shape builder tool. Okay. When I click the shape builder, I click over here. So when I click this, nothing happened because I didn't select all. I need to select everything. Okay. Then I click. You see, the, it, it has a highlight there. You click. Yes. You okay. click. You click. Once you okay. do that, you go to your selection tool. You select this object. It will become separate. Oh, okay. Can really. Thank you. Okay. Shape builder tool to separate the objects or to make the object as one object. Right, and then over here, also same. Select everything first, and then you go to your shape builder tool. You click and drag to make it as one object. All right, and all the extra line, then you can just remove it. I can select this, and then I can press delete. Also, can if you don't want to press the alternate, right? You just click and delete. Press and delete in your keyboard. And then select the top part, press up arrow key in your keyboard three times or four times or five times. And then I select two objects together, press up arrow key three or four times. Select three objects together, press up arrow key three times. Okay, so that you get the gap. Okay, if done, please let me know. Up to here. If you got any problem, also please let me know. Answer. Okay, two people done. Rosalia and Fat. The rest. Okay, Nikki done. Chan Chun Ki done. Okay, Mohan done. Rohlan done. Okay, anyone still got problem? Anyone, guys? Don't be shy. Okay, no problem, huh? All right. So now let's uh, proceed. Okay. I go to zoom at the bottom area here. Okay. So make sure you remove all the extra line. Huh? Don't forget that. And then we want to make this tip here rounded. I go to my direct selection tool. Go to the direct selection tool. You click at the point over here. There is an anchor point here. Once you select one of the anchor point, and then you can click and drag this small circle here to make it rounded. Okay. And then over here, there is a, a sharp corner as well. Okay. So what I do, I select two points over here. Okay. But the problem is we have more than one point at this area. Okay. I, I can see there is two points here. Can you see that? 
Yes. Okay, so we need to remove this uh, one of the point. All right, to remove a point, okay, what you do, you go to your pen tool, you click and hold the pen tool, you will see delete anchor point tool. Hold the pen tool, and then you choose delete anchor point tool. And then I bring my cursor to one of the anchor point, I click to remove. Bring my cursor to one of the anchor point, I click to remove. All right, and then I try to zoom in and see. Okay, still got another two more. Can you see that? When I zoom in, okay, remove another one. So make sure there is only one anchor point there. Okay, here also I try to remove. No, then I undo back. If you accidentally remove, right, you can always undo back. Control Z to remove, uh, to undo, uh, to undo whatever mistake that you have done. So now there is only one anchor point here and one anchor point here. So I go to my direct selection tool. I select both anchor point like this. Click and drag so that both anchor point is will be highlighted, something like this. Then I just click and drag this circle here to make it rounded. Clear? Clear or not? Use your direct selection tool. Click at one of the anchor point, any anchor point. Then you will see a, a small circle here. You just click and drag. And do back. Okay, if you want to do uh, at the same time for both point, shift and click. Select the first Post anchor point. Uh, can you guys please mute yourself? Huh? Sweater. Sweater. Sweater, please. Guys, uh, please uh, mute yourself, guys. Okay, unless if you want to speak up, then you unmute. All right, so set, click on the first anchor point, press shift, and then select the next anchor point, and then you click and drag the circle. It will apply for both. All right. Okay, Quan Fong Sin. Uh, what system do you don't have? Is it a laptop or computer? Or the software? Is it the software? Okay, you try first this one. If you, have, if you face any problem, please let me know. If done, please type in the chat box. Okay, very good. Uh, Chan Shun Ki, can you share your screen? Can I have a look at your design? Can you share your screen? How about the rest? Are you guys still doing? Oh, okay, okay, understood. Uh, Gausalia, can you can you uh, share your screen? Uh, okay, sir. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, having issue. Siapa tu? Tak dengar. Sir, mohon je. Ah, Rizwan, apa tu? Rizwan? Uh, yes, Mohan. What is the issue? Do you want to share your screen? Can I have a look at your issue? Okay, if you have problem, please share your screen and then let me know your problem so that I can troubleshoot for you. 
Mohan, please share your screen. Yeah, all right, great. Okay, you go to your delete anchor point. Yes, correct. Okay, and then try to remove that point and see. No, click at the anchor point, not the handle. That is your handle. Uh, click, click. Okay, now, so there, at that position, right? Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Listen first. Okay, at that point, you only have one point, so you don't have to remove that. So you undo back, control Z. Okay, the one currently you are you are pointing at, uh, that one you need to remove. Yeah, remove that. Okay, go to the other side. No, go to the other side. Okay, the top one you remove. Top, top, top one. Yes, remove that. And then the one uh, just now, zoom out. Yeah, this one remove. Yes, correct. Now use your direct selection tool. Mm -hmm. Click at the point there. No, not that. Yes, click. Okay, here you don't see the uh, circle because this is not a round, uh, 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 what you call? This is not a straight line. So what you do, you have to you go to your pen tool, click and hold. You go to anchor point tool, anchor point tool. And then click one time at your point there just now. Yes. Just click. Okay. And then the other side also, just click. One time. And then you go to your direct selection tool again. Now you can see the circle. Shift click. Click again. Yeah, I don't see. Uh, okay. Can you go back to your, uh, what do you call? Yeah. Anchor point, you click one time on the other side. Yes. Okay, try to remove line, remove anchor point. Sorry. I think there is a two anchor point over there. Yes. Just click one time. Click again and see. Undo back. Okay, all right. Very good. Now go to direct selection tool. Okay, now select both points together. Shift click, yes, click and drag. Okay, very good. And then the bottom point, click. The bottom one, bottom, bottom, bottom. Some more, bottom. No, no, bottom. Yes. Make it rounded. All right. Okay, very good. Thank you. Who else got issues? Anyone? All done? Are you guys done? Can't find anchor point. Okay, when you if you if your object is not selected, right? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, those white color points, those are the anchor point. You already make it rounded. Why you want to make it rounded some more? Now the bottom one, the bottom. Can you see the anchor point at the bottom? Bottom, bottom. Go down, down some more. Yeah, that one. That one, you use your direct selection tool. Don't click and drag. Direct selection tool. Click and drag, yes, correct. Okay. Clear? The top one, you already make it rounded. So don't touch that. Why can't remove? Which one you cannot remove? Why do you want to remove that? Do you want to make it straight line? Okay, if you want to remove, right, you go to delete anchor point tool. Click and hold, click and hold that tool. No, the pen tool, okay. Okay, guys, if you don't see the delete anchor point tool, right? You go to window. Sini, you go to window menu, you go to toolbar, and then you choose advance. Now click and hold the pen tool. 
delete anchor point and then just click at the extra points that you want to remove. Try to click first. Remove, remove the point, the anchor point. The one you said you cannot remove. Uh, click that to remove. Yes. Click, try and see, try some more. Not the handle, the anchor point. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Anyone else? Are you guys done? If you got issues, don't be shy. Sir, I, I'm so slow. <laughs> uh, because uh, I want to remove uh, this. Uh, wait, yeah? Yeah. But uh, you don't want to remove it. Ah, cuba share screen. Yang dah siap tu tolong sabar sikit eh. Ah, Sophie, are you sharing your screen? Ah, uh, sir, macam mana nak share screen eh? Saya so, okay. tak share screen Ada nampak tak? Ah, uh, color hijau. There is a icon, green color icon, share. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Ah, tekan tu and then you choose your illustrator screen and then tekan share again. Alright, very good. Okay, I'm looking at your screen. Okay, you select everything dulu. Select everything. Use your selection. Ah, yes, betul. And then go to your shape builder tool. Tempat yang you nak bersambung, you click and drag. Okay, click dan tarik ke bawah yang yang atas. Ah, andu balik, andu balik. Jangan alternate, alternate untuk buang. Hmm, yes, 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 alternate. Kalau tak boleh buang. Okay, uh, try first. All right, very good. Okay, and then zoom out. Cuba zoom out. Control minus. Okay, color uh, yang atas semua dah ke? Atas dah ke? Select bagian atas saja. Klik kat luar. Ha, atas saja, atas saja. Atas, dia punya paling atas. Objek yang paling atas sahaja. Ah, select dia. Yeah. Ah, okay, then you move it up. Press up arrow key dekat keyboard. Press up arrow key dekat keyboard. Ah, and then select dua-dua pula. Dua objek yang ke atas. Dua objek yang ke atas. Bukan satu objek, dua. Ah, and then tekan up arrow key. Kemudian select tiga objek yang ke atas. And then up arrow key. Tiga, bukan empat. Tiga. Hmm. Alright. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, stop eh. Okay. Guys, tolong tengok kat sini. Okay, after you have removed this, okay, it's almost there. Okay, then we have to change the color. Okay, before we changing the color, right? Okay, nampak tak dekat sini, there is two gradient over here. This one is different color and different color. A darker blue and lighter blue. A lighter pink and darker pink. Okay, also same like what we did earlier. We have to draw one straight line and then we make it as a different object. Okay, for example, I go to my pen tool. I bawa cursor dekat atas sekali, kat tengah-tengah, somewhere here. Click. And then, bawa cursor dekat bawah sekali and then click one time. Click dan lepas, click dan lepas. Supaya you get a straight line. Not click and drag. Eh? Click and let go your mouse. And then click and let go your mouse. Once you have this line, you select all your objects. Make sure you select everything. You go to your shape builder now. And then you just click, 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 click. To make it as separate objects. Okay, something like this. After that, after you just simply click, 
you go to your selection tool, you select your line and then you delete. Whatever extra line here in between here, you select and delete. Faham tak? Guys. So that I can actually move this separately. Tapi jangan move kan? Okay. And then you can apply a different color to these objects. Faham tak semua orang? Faham ah. saya. Okay, draw one line and then select semua objek ser serentak and then go to shape builder, you just click, 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 click. Area yang kita nak, just simply click sahaja. Bila dia highlight, you click, 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 click. After that, you go to your selection tool, <coughs> select all the extra lines, you delete manually. Okay, cuba buat dulu. Kalau dah siap, tolong type dekat chat box. Okay, I assume you guys done. Okay, now if I want to change the color, okay, please take a look very carefully. If I want to change the color of this object, I don't want the stroke color. I only want the fill color. Okay, so what I do, I select my first object here, the one on the top left hand side, and then I shift and click the middle one over here. After another object, one object, shift and click. So I've already selected two objects over here. Then I go to click at the stroke color at the toolbar here. And then I choose none. And then I go to fill color. Okay, I just double click the fill color. And then I can choose a, a color from the color picker here. Something like this. Then I press OK. I repeat back. Select the first object. Hold your shift key and then select the next object. Then you go to your toolbar here. There is a stroke color. Yang color hitam. Click at the stroke color and then you choose none. We don't want stroke color. And then you click at the fill color. Then you double click. Click dua kali. Double click. And then you change to a slightly darker color. Something like this. Okay, saya ulang balik. The next object, select the first object, shift select the bottom one, and then go to stroke color, choose none, go to fill color, and then double click the fill color, and then choose a, a light color, something like this. And then again, you repeat, select the first one, hold the shift key and select the next one, and then stroke color, none. Click at the fill color, Double click and choose a slightly darker color. Something like this. Faham? Is it same with the sample? Oh no, it's not same. It's okay. Okay, on, on at the bottom here, there is another line. Huh? I didn't notice that, so sorry about that. So what you can do here, you go to your pen tool, you click and then you click and drag to make a curve. Something like this. And then you go to your selection tool. And for this one, right, we don't want the fill color. So I go to fill color, I choose none. I go to stroke color, I double click the stroke color. And then I choose, let's say black color, for example, click OK. Uh, why it doesn't black? Okay, black color, sorry. Black color, click OK. Then I select everything, go to the shape builder, just click one time click one time, something like this. And now there is no color. That's why we cannot see the object. Go to selection tool, delete all the extra line here, delete, and then delete. I choose this object. Okay, this object, the color should be same as this red color. So I press I for eyedropper tool. And then I pick the color from the existing object. Then I go to my selection tool, I select the next object, I press I in my keyboard, I pick the color from here. Something like this. Okay? Understand or not, guys? Yes, no? 
Yes, sure, no problem. You mean uh, for this one, right? Mohan? Okay, let me just undo back. Okay. The old computer how to download with the how to download with the Adobe. Uh, yes, in the when you register for your for your this course, right? Okay, I already put in the link for you to download the trial version. Make sure you read everything carefully. Okay. When you're joining a program, whatever description that they have, you must read first. Okay, please refer back to that page. All right. Okay, now, now, if I want to separate this object, right? Okay, I go to my pen tool, I click, and then I bring my cursor here. I click and drag to make it curvy, something like this. I can adjust the shape until I like the shape. If let's say something like this, this is not right. Then I adjust that to something like this, let's say. Then once done, you press B in your keyboard for selection tool. Then you remove the fill color. All right. To remove the fill color, you can go to your toolbar, click at the fill color, choose none. Click at the stroke color, and then you double click. Then you choose black color. Then click OK. Why it doesn't apply black? I don't know. Okay, click apply black color, something like this. So that you can see clearly. Then you select everything. Select everything. You go to shape builder. And then you just click one time. Click one time. All right. The extra line, if you want to remove, you hold your alternate, click and drag. Alternate, click and drag. All right. Next, you go to your selection tool. You select one of the object here, and this color should be same as this light red color, let's say. So I can use my the color picker tool here, the eyedropper tool. Okay, shortcut is I. Okay, you choose this picker and then you click at the light red. Then you go to your selection tool, you select the next object, go to the eyedropper tool. And then pick the color from the darker red. Faham? Okay, something like this. If you guys done, please let me know. If you need me to repeat any of the part, please let me know also. Okay, absolutely done. Okay, done. Okay, this one done. Uh, the last, uh, okay, can you share your screen, Mohan? Mohan, share your screen. Okay, undo back, control that. Control Z. Some more. Some more. Some more undo. Uh, why you didn't put the color for the other shape? Why you haven't put? <coughs> okay, put the color first. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay. So color none. You didn't select your object yet. Remove the stroke faster. Select the object and then remove the stroke. None. The top object also same. Select the object, stroke none. Okay, go down there, draw the new line faster. Zoom in. Okay. Then you go to your. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
You move it down. Can you see that the, there is a black and white small box there? Small box. Ah, click that. Then remove the fill color. Fill color, none. Right. And then you bring it down a bit. Bring your line down a bit. Yeah, you're moving the anchor point. Use your move tool. Yes. Oops. Yep. Okay, now select the three objects together. Shape builder. Okay, the bottom two objects you click, bottom one only. Yeah, click. Click. All right, done. Then delete the, the lines. Alternate click, yes. Correct. Now go to your selection tool. Select the small object. Press I for eyedropper. I, I. Press I in your keyboard. Click. Go to your selection tool. Select the object. Press I. Click. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Thank you. All right. Okay. Let me just uh, ungroup first. Okay. So these objects are separated. Okay. So you select everything together. Click and drag to make selection. And then after that, you go to object. And then you go to group. Okay, object menu and then group it. All right. So when I after I group, next time if I want to move this object, right, I just can click anywhere on the object and then I can move it. Faham? Faham. Okay, so in this case, we want to rotate this object. To rotate the object, you can use your selection tool. Okay, select the object and then bring your cursor outside here. When there is a banded arrow, you just click and drag. If you hold your shift key, right, okay, it will increase in 45 degrees. 45, 90, and then it's continue. All right, if you hold your shift key. If you don't hold your shift key, then you can see the angle on top. If there is a specific angle that you want to do, I undo first. I go to object, transform, rotate. Then you key in the angle. Okay, for example, let's say I put uh, three zero. Okay, you can see from here, 30 means it, you, it will follow the clockwise. Okay, if you want to rotate it opposite direction, then you put a negative value. Oops, sorry. Is it 30? Okay, 30, it's, oh, positive, it's going, going uh, negative direction, uh, anti-clockwise. Okay, positive value, anti-clockwise. Negative value, follow the clockwise. All right, clear. Then I press K. The last start, Smora. Okay, all right. So after you have done that, okay, let's say kita nak lukis line macam ni. Okay, something like this. A simple line lah. Okay, you can use your pen tool to do that. I go to my pen tool. I click where I want to start. And then click. And then click. Okay, whether you want a straight line or whatever, you can do that. If you want a straight line, horizontal or vertical, you hold your shift key. You see, I hold my shift key, it goes 45 and then vertical and then horizontal and then click. Then you click the selection tool. Okay, over here, there is a fill color at the moment. Let's say we, we don't want the fill color, we want stroke color only. You select the object, you go to your uh, 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 toolbar. And then you click this small arrow here to swap between the fill and the stroke color. You click that. So now fill, no color, stroke, got some color there. Clear? Clear, everyone? All right. So if I want the color to be same as my object, okay, I select my object. I press eyedropper tool, I for eyedropper tool, click, and then pick the blue color. But what happened is this blue color is actually a fill color, not stroke color. So it will apply with fill color. 
and then you just click the arrow here. All right, something like this. All right, so let's say I want to draw the next line over here. All right, so what I do, I select my object here, I copy, I hold my alternate, click and drag to something like this. And then I need to draw on the opposite side. So what I do, I select my object, I rotate 180 degrees. Okay, I go to object, transform, rotate 180, click OK. And then I move my line. Why rotate 180? So that this line and this line will be aligned. Select the object, press I for eyedropper, pick the light red color, and then you swap the color. Something like this. Clear? Okay, so if I take a look here, there is uh, two uh, lines here, one line here, one line here. Depends on how many lines that you want. Then after that, you can just duplicate this. Hold the alternate key, click and drag. Hold the alternate key, click and drag. Let's say I put here, and then I press I for eyedropper. I pick the color, and then I swap the color between the fill and stroke. Okay, if you want to make the color, uh, the stroke thicker a bit, select the lines, select, select, and select by, uh, by holding the shift key. Select all four lines, then you go to window stroke or on top here, on the option here, there is a stroke with one point. You increase that one point here to increase the stroke width. Okay, I've got this too thick. Okay, something like this, two point. All right. The last star. Can you try to do this? Yes. Okay, draw the line using the pen tool. Then use your selection tool to duplicate the line. After duplicate, you rotate 180 degrees. Then you change color. Okay, if done, please type in the chat box. If you need me to repeat, please let me know also. Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, let's say I remove this. Okay, first I go to my pen tool. Pen tool, click and let go the mouse. Click and let go the mouse. And then click and let go the mouse something like this. And then I go to my selection tool to stop the line, right? Something like this. And then to change the color, you select your object. Let's say I want to put it here, okay? Select the object, press I for eyedropper, pick the color from this dark red, and then you swap the color at the toolbar here. Swap fill and stroke, okay? Shortcut is shift X. You press shift X and then it will exchange between the fill and stroke. Then you increase the weight of the stroke. For example, I go to my selection tool, make sure you select your object and then increase the stroke weight. Okay. And then you just alternate, click and drag to duplicate. Press I for eyedropper, pick the blue color and then I press shift X. And of course, you need to increase the, the thickness of the stroke. And this one, let's say I like this line, delete, select this line, alternate click and drag using the move tool. And then I go to object, transform, rotate 180 degrees, click OK, and then reposition back. Press I, pick the color, and then press Shift X to, to, uh, to exchange the color and then increase the weight. How to rotate the pencil? How to rotate the pencil? You select the entire pencil. Let's take a look here for a while. Okay, let's say we have a straight pencil here. Okay, select the object. Make sure you group first. After you group, and then you go to object, transform, rotate. And then you key in the value. Let's say I put 30 degrees. And then you can check the preview here. Then you press OK. Okay, if done, please let me know the lines. Okay, we have about 50 participants here. 
Okay, only four reply. Dah siap ke line dia? Dah. Okay, kenapa susah sangat nak reply? Okay, sudah. Alright. So now, now once you have your line like this, okay, once you have your line, so put in this circle, right? Okay, you can go to your ellipse tool. If you hold your rectangle tool, click and hold your rectangle or click and hold your polygon, you will find your ellipse tool. Once you choose ellipse tool, you hold, you bring your cursor here, you press, click and drag first, then you press alternate and shift. So that it will become bigger from the center point where you click. Okay, let's say something like this. And then use your selection tool, you just move it. When you move, you will find a, uh, what we call a smart guide so that it will snap. Then after that for color, you just press I for eyedropper, pick the color from the stroke, okay? So let's say for example, over here, let me just delete first, okay? So what I do, after draw one, alternate, click and drag, you bring it over here, it will snap, then you press I for eyedropper, you pick the color from the line. Alternate, click and drag to duplicate, and then press I for eyedropper tool, pick the color from the line. Something like this. Faham tak, circle? Uh -huh. Alright, okay, now I look at my sample here. Okay, it has some icons over here. Okay, most of the time, this all this icon, right? We can, if you want, you can draw this lah. Okay, if you are, uh, if, if you feel there's uh, too much of work, then you can just uh, download it from online. Okay, for example, let's say I want a, a book icon. Okay, I can go to my Google. Okay, let's say for example, I share my screen, I go to new tab, and then let's say I type uh, book icon, okay, something like this. And then I choose my whatever icon that I like. It could be a JPEG file or it could be a, a vector file, doesn't matter. If you go to freepick.com, okay, if you go to freepick.com, then you can search by vector file. For example, I go to resources here, I choose free, and then I choose vector. And then I choose book icon. I type book icon, okay? So that means all these files are free for you to download and use, all right? So for example, let's say I like uh, um, a bit a thick one. Okay, let's say this one. Okay, I'm going to use uh, uh, this book at the bottom here. And then first I go to download, free download, and then it will be downloaded. Then the zip file, right? When you open, you will find there is an EPS file. Okay, I open my zip file, and then I open my EPS or AI file, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's say I open my EPS file. Okay, when I open, it will open up in Illustrator. I get this. All right, so after you open, you use your selection tool, you try to select first. Okay, when you select, everything is selected. So you have to ungroup. I go to object, ungroup one time, and then click outside first, and then select again. Okay, now everything is selected together with the text. We don't want the text, we only want the icon, let's say. So, so I go to. Screen is half only, you know. Can't can see, see the left side. Yeah, you can, but the left side, the left side of the bar, the file or that cannot see already. File all cannot see. Yeah. You're only uh, seeing from select onwards. Uh, okay, I stop share first. And then I share again. Now? Okay. All right. Okay. So after I make selection, okay, I select my object. Everything is selected. So I go to object menu and then I go to ungroup first again. Then click outside first to deselect and then select again the book. Now the book is selected. I just have to copy this. I go to edit, copy, and then on top here, I go back to my previous document here, come back to my place over here, 
and then let's say I paste it. I go to edit and then I paste something like this. And then I reposition this and then I adjust my size. When you're scaling, right? When you're adjusting the size, make sure you hold your shift key. Okay, something like this. Okay, let's say I don't want this circle to be very small. Let's say I make it bigger. Okay, after you make it bigger, make sure you adjust back your stroke two point. Okay, and then I put my book inside. Adjust again the size. And then make sure this is two point, something like this. Faham? Uh -huh. Okay, so, and then if you want to make the, the icon to be center of this circle, you select both object first, and then click again on the circle, and then you go to align panel. Can you see this align here in the properties? You click the second button here, horizontal align center, and also vertical align center. Click. So it will be in the middle of the circle. Okay, let's say we want some other icon. Okay, I go back to my Google. Okay, I go to free pick. And then I search for uh, what icon? Mm, uh, graduation. Okay, I already have my graduation icon. Huh? You search for graduation icon and then uh, whatever uh, hat that you can get. And then I go to download, free download. It will be downloaded. After download, you open the EPS file or AI file. Okay, let's say I open my EPS file. Okay, it will be loaded in my Illustrator. Let's say I want to use this icon here, only the top part, not the book. Okay, so what I do, I go to object, ungroup, and then try to select again. Okay, both objects are selected. Go to object, ungroup again. Click outside first and then try to select again. But now it is selecting only the top part here. The bottom part, shift click, and then you group it, control G. Then only you copy, edit, copy, go to your document, go to edit, paste. All right, something like this. And then you put it here, and then you make the circle bigger maybe. Click on the circle, bring your cursor to the middle point on the uh, right hand side, hold your shift key and then you drag. And then change the points here to two points. If you want the circle to be same size as the above one, you just delete first, then you just duplicate, alternate, click and drag. Okay, if it is overlapping like this, right, you can select the line, the circle and the icon, and then you just move it up a bit. Can. Okay, and then this head here, let's say I make it slightly smaller, to something like this. But the color is not same right now. Okay, you have to select your object. Okay, and then you press I for eyedropper and then pick the color that you want. Okay, something like this. Let's say I want the color to be same like my pencil color here. Okay, select the book and then press I for eyedropper, pick the color from the pencil shape. Something like this. And this one, the circle, Press I and then pick the color from the line. Pam tak semua Faham. Okay. So, <clears throat> anybody ask any question or not? Because kalau nanti you download, nanti uh, lambat tang. Okay. So, you just have to open an EPS file from prepaid. You open EPS or AI file. You select your object. You ungroup. Object ungroup. Okay, and then object ungroup again. And then you just select the object that you want. You copy. Go to edit, copy, and then go back to your document. The atas ni, and then edit paste. Okay, if you need, you maybe you have to group it together. Jelas? Jelas tak semua orang? Jelas. Okay, so the first part ni done. Okay, let's say the second part yang ini pula. Okay, this is a very straightforward. Okay, kita ada circle and then kita kena pisahkan circle and then we make it round shape. The corners to become rounded. 
all right and there is a gap in between here all right so the gap you can just move the circle out okay for example let's say i zoom out i can give to this side and zoom in a bit i draw a circle first to draw a circle you go to ellipse tool bring your cursor here you alternate shift and drag kalau tak tekan shift dia jadi bujur okay it, it will become an ellipse shape okay if you don't press your shift key so press your shift key and also alternate you click and drag something like this okay and then you draw your line whatever line uh, that you want let's say i go to my pen tool i bring my cursor when i bring my cursor it will snap you see there is a smart guide snapping to the center of the circle you click first oops sorry not ellipse huh? pen tool sorry use your pen tool okay use your pen tool bring your cursor when it snaps to the center of the circle you click bring your cursor to the opposite direction hold your shift and click that's it then go to your selection tool something like this okay and the top line also same the vertical line go to your pen tool bring your cursor to the top when it snaps with the smart guide you click and let go your mouse and then bring your cursor down hold your shift key and click and let go your mouse then click at the selection tool to stop the line something like this then same like just now you select all these uh, objects here you go to your shape builder shift m you just click 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 and click to remove the line alternate click and drag or alternate click also can something like this then you just move it away for example i select my first object and then i move it move it to the up and to the left down and to the left and then this one to the right and down something like this okay can you try to do this yes sir. okay try first kalau dah bagi tahu if for any problem also please let me know okay we're going to proceed now okay so this object right okay please take a look at my screen now okay in our example sample here all the corners is rounded but when you want to make this a uh, round widget here it only applies to a sharp corner okay but over here i don't see the circle so if i use my uh, direct selection tool then i will be able to see this okay but i have to change this individually one object by one object Okay, so if you want to apply this round corner to all the objects, what you do is you select all four objects together. Okay, and then you go to effects on top. And then you go to stylize. And then you can choose round corner. And then you can check the preview and increase the radius. Why is it not changing? Like the object, go to effect, stylize, round corner. Mm -hmm. If I increase this, why okay, it's not applying? Something is wrong with the effect. And so, Yeah, try again one more time. In fact, stylize uh, corner, increase the size. Let's see. Okay, here you can try to create some other shape. Select both, and then I remove part of the object. Uh -huh. Try, huh? Let me try one more time. Object, stylize, round corner. 
Okay, now can. Okay, if I select individual object, then can, but part of the object become straight line. Okay. If I select this and then drag, then can. Okay, supposedly this a uh, stylized effect, right? It should work properly, but it is not working properly. I'm not sure why, but no worries. Okay, what you do, you manually do it. Select the object using selection tool. And then you go to your direct selection tool. You will see there is a three uh, circles here. When you click and drag, you will be able to see your radius there. Okay, and also in the option box here, can you see there is a corner with a, with a radius pixel here? You can set it here as well. Let's say I don't want it to be very high. Let's say I put 20 over here and then enter. Then you select the next object. Then you go to direct selection tool, then just key in 20 value here. Understand or not? Select the object, you go to direct selection tool, then corner, you key in 20. Okay, guys. Uh, if I select all four, can or not? I put 4, 20. Okay, can, huh? So sorry. Okay, you select all four objects together. You go to direct selection tool and then change the corner. Okay, thanks, Dave. Thank you. All right. Okay, if done, let me know. Select the object using selection tool, and then you go to your direct selection tool, and then from the option, you increase the corner radius. Okay, done guys. Why become triangle shape? Okay, don't uh, do not use this uh, uh stylized guys. Uh, Cindy, do not use the effect stylized round corner. You select the object. Don't use that. Huh? You select object using your selection tool. Then you go to your direct selection tool, and then from the option box here, you increase the corner radius. Older version of uh, Illustrator, it doesn't have this uh, corner widget here. Okay, it only has uh, this stylized, this round corner. Okay, just for your information. <coughs> All right. Okay, so once you have done, you can start to change color. Okay, so to apply color, just select the object and then from the toolbar, you change the fill color. Or if you have existing object in your document or even images, let's say, for example, I place an image. Um, let's say I go to my downloads. Okay, let's say this uh, document. Okay, I have my image here. Okay, I can select my object using selection tool and then press I for eyedropper. I can pick the color from the photograph. Okay, something like this can do that, okay? Then select the object, press I, and then I pick the color from the existing object. Also can. Object or image, you, if you want to take the color, you just uh, place the image first, then select the object, go to eyedropper tool, and then pick the color. Okay, and then select the object, press I, and then pick. Or you can select multiple objects at the same time, and then use the color picker also can. Can you change the color now? Okay, let's say I don't want this color. I want to follow the color of the pencil. Select both object, press I, and then pick the color. Select both object, press I, and then pick the color. 
So sorry ah, uh, the the top two bar I don't have it ah. Uh, it's only missing. How to bring it back? Which two bar? But the one with the red color there, the stroke and all that. This one ah. Uh? Yeah, the top one. You go to window and then you uh, just control. Control. Thank you. All right. Okay, the color, are you guys done? Okay, very good. <clears throat> okay, here you can see there is a line and then there is a small uh, circle, looks like a circle, but I don't know whether it's a circle or not. Let's say we assume it is a circle. So what I do, I go to draw line using my pen tool. Go to pen tool, you click, if you want a straight line, you hold your shift key and click. And then you change the direction wherever you want. You can hold your shift also so that it will be 45 degrees, something like this. Okay. And then press V for selection tool. And then you exchange the color between the stroke and the fill color, something like this. Or you can also remove the fill color, click the stroke color, double click, and then you choose any color that you want. Then click OK. So it will apply. After that, you increase the stroke weight. Okay. And you just duplicate. And these two, I'm going to, let's say, for example, this one, it's supposed to, let's say, it's supposed to go down, let's say. So you can select the object. You can go to object, transform, and then you choose reflect. Okay. You want to flip the line. Go to reflect. And then choose horizontal, check the preview, and then you can see the preview here, then press OK. So it will be something like this. Then you can, of course, you can move it down a bit. And then you select both lines, alternate, click and drag to duplicate. And then you flip it vertically. For example, I go to object, transform, reflect, I choose vertical, and then click OK. We have this. Now it looks like a bug, right? If I bring this up, we draw another line, become a bug. Okay, so don't do this now. Okay, clear or not, guys? Okay, very good. Now, the, for the circle, you can draw a circle using ellipse tool. Ellipse tool, you click and drag, something like this, and then you move it, and then you press I for eyedropper, pick the color from your line, something like this. And then you just have to duplicate. Okay, or even, when you draw the first line, right, you put the circle itself. Then when you copy, you don't have to repeat again, creating the circle, all right? And you have to adjust the position and all this. So make sure it doesn't overlap. Clear or not, guys? So I select these two lines, alternate click and drag, and then I go to object, transform, reflect, Vertical, click OK. So I have my circle. All right, what else do we have here? The text. Okay, the next one is the text. You have your title and there is a paragraph here. Okay, let's say I just use a paragraph text and then I can highlight the top text and then change the format. Okay, just an example only. I come back here. Let's say over here. To insert a text, in Illustrator, you go to your type tool. Can you see there is a text here, a T here, T icon. You click that, and then to start to type, there is two ways of uh, typing. One is we call it a point type, and another one is a paragraph type. Okay, point type means you click and let go your mouse, and then you start to type. Okay, it will be continuously in one line until you press enter in your keyboard. Then you can continue type, enter, continue type. This is point type. Okay, 
there is another type. We go to your uh, to the uh, type tool, and then you click and drag. When you click and drag, you are drawing the text frame. Okay, it will load with some sample text, and you can also start to type. And this one, when you start to type, right, it will always inside that box, the text frame that you drawn. Come that, guys. Okay, let's say if I want to adjust the text. Okay, let me just delete back. I go to my type tool. I go to my type tool. I click and drag. Okay, and then if I want to adjust the uh, the text here, I go to my character panel. Character panel, you get it from your window menu. Okay, you go to window and then you search for character, character, character. I don't see any character over here. So what you do, you go down until you go to type and then you will find character. Okay, window, type, character. Shortcut is control T. Okay, and then I highlight everything, press control A, I change the font. Let's say I put uh, a real regular, let's say. Okay, and then the, let's say I have a title on top. I highlight the title only. Okay, highlight the title only, and then I change the text into uh, uh, black, let's say. And I can increase my font size also. Okay, and if you have a paragraph text, right, sometimes you will see this dash here, this hyphen. Okay, to remove that, you can. Select all, you go to paragraph, and then you uncheck the hyphenate. All right. Can you try to create some text here? You can just use the sample text, which is uh, uh, done for you. Okay, there is a question from Nurul Ain. Okay, that in AI, is it same like uh, in Photoshop, we can do a clipping mask? Okay, uh, yes. We can use a clipping mask in Illustrator. Okay, it's exactly the same, but only the layer order. In Photoshop, layer order, we use layer to create clipping mask. In Illustrator, you don't have to have a layer. You just have two objects, one image, one shape. But the shape should be on top. In Photoshop, the shape layer should be at the bottom. Okay, it's the ballet, eh? Okay, can you try to create some text? You can, the, even the text also same thing. You can alternate click and drag to duplicate the text. Then you can double click and then you start to edit. Or you can go to your type tool and then edit. <clears throat> to move the text frame, you use your selection tool. All right, use your selection tool, select the text and then you can move it around. To edit the text or to change the format, you can double click the text over here and then you can highlight. Then you press Ctrl T for character panel. Then you edit. All right. Okay, color text duh. Please let me know. Okay, Nurul Ain da, Suki da, Fat da, some more. Who else done with the text? Okay, text ada masalah da, anyone? You click and drag, you will have some sample text. And then the title, you can make it as a separate paragraph. Means you press enter in your keyboard. Then you highlight and then change the format in the character panel. Okay, this hyphenate. Okay, don't think I. Okay, by default the hyphenate will be turned on. To to remove these dashes, right? You see, it's supposed to be one word. Tapi dia terpisah. Okay, so what do you do? You highlight first the text. You go to your paragraph panel. Uncheck the hyphenate. Okay, uncheck. Where do you get the paragraph panel? You go to window, type, and paragraph. Okay. 
to remove the hyphenate. Uncheck the hyphenate from the paragraph panel. All right, now let's take a look what else uh, we are missing. Okay, the icon, same like just now. You just uh, open any icon. Okay, let's say you unable to find a vector file. Okay, let's say you go to Freepig, you try to search, it's a very unique icon, let's say, and then you couldn't find it. Okay, so what you can do is, you can uh, download a JPEG file. Okay, let's say I share my screen here, my Google. I go to Google search, huh? Google search for uh, world icon, something like this. And then let's say I like uh, uh, this one, let's say. Okay, let's say this one. Uh, or because this looks like transparent, I don't want this. Let's say this one, also got transparent. Try this, no? Okay, this one, got white color background, you see? Okay, so what I do, I right click on this image. I save image as, it will save as JPEG file. Click save. Okay, I'm, I'm downloading a JPEG file, which is not transparent. Then I go back to my Illustrator. Okay, and then I go to place, file, place. Any images that you want to bring in into Illustrator, you go to file place. After I choose place, I select my the JPEG file icon. Then I click and drag to place it. But now if I put it here, right, we have white color background, which I don't want, number one. And number two, I cannot change this color because this is a JPEG image. I cannot change this over here. Okay, unless if it is in Photoshop, you go to select color by range, then you can adjust. All right, so in case if you face something like this, what you do is we're going to trace the image. Okay, select the image, you go to window and then image trace. You will get an image trace panel. You check the preview over here and that's it, it's done. It's already traced. How do I know? Let me just undo back. Now, if I zoom in, right? Zoom in, zoom in, I can see the pixels because it is a JPEG image, right? If I zoom out, now I go to image trace panel, then I check my preview over here. It's already traced. How do I know? I try to zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Can you see the pixel now? So means if this is a vector file now, vector image. Okay, so select the object after you check the preview, it already done with the tracing. You go to select the image and then you go to object, expand. One time, click OK. Then after that, you go to object, ungroup. Object, ungroup. Once, once you ungroup, right, you can select all these individual objects. For example, let's say I select everything. I put it over here on top of this. Now I deselect. I can select this white color outside here and press delete. I can select the white color inside here, I can press delete. Whatever white color here, I can delete. And I, I also can change the color of this uh, black color. All right. Uh, again, sir. Yeah, kat mana tu? Yang mana? Uh, nak buang mana putih tu. Uh, okay, saya ulang balik eh. Saya ulang balik. Saya Sorry, undo balik. Undo balik, undo, undo, undo. Okay, so now our this is an image yang I download. It's a other pixel, means it's a JPEG format. Okay, so now I select the object, this image here. I open my image trace panel dari window. Window, image trace. Kita dapat yang ini. Kemudian, you check the preview. Okay, bila check preview, dia akan convert automatically. Okay, if I zoom in now, nampak tak? Dia tak ada blurry lagi. Okay, dia dah convert. The moment I check preview, dia dah convert. So, after that, you go to object, expand. Sebab kita nak pisahkan dia. Sekarang ni, dia masih nampak macam one object. Okay, go to expand first, then click OK. After you click OK, if I click outside, I select again, Everything is moving together now. 
even though I can see all the outline, still everything is moving together. So that's why I need to ungroup first. Go to object, ungroup. Go to object, ungroup one more time, two times. If I go to object again, now I cannot ungroup anymore. You see? Then after that, click dekat luar dulu, select balik tempat-tempat yang kita nak buang. Click at the white color space here and then press delete. Click at the white color inside here and then press delete. Okay? Then after that, I think uh, there is still some more, right? Where is that? Here. Select the white color and press delete. Now I can select everything here. I can group it together. Object, group. Then to change the color, I can go to my fill color. Double click the fill color and then I change to some bluish color, let's say. Then I click OK. Why it doesn't change? Why it didn't change? Okay, because the color mode currently for this object is in gray scale. Okay, I undo ballet. Okay, let's say now you see in the color panel, I can see there is no RGB color here. Okay, I need to change the, the color mode. For example, I go to window and then I choose color to open up the color panel. Only this. Okay, the rest I took. Okay, this color panel. Select the object first, go to three line here, and then choose RGB. Then I can change my color. Okay, or I can change it from my toolbar also. Double click the fill color. Now I can change the color to some other color. Faham? And I can place it to my infographics here. Adjust the size, hold the shift key, and then you make it smaller or let's say i want to make it white color jelas jelas okay can you try this you just download a simple icon a jpeg file okay and then you bring it over here and then you trace in black and white color and then you expand and then you ungroup and then you delete all the white color and then you change the color and then you put it on top of here. Okay, I'm downloading this image. Then I go to my illustrator. I place the image over here. Click and back to place it. Okay, let's say I don't want this white color. I want to remove the white color. I go to window, image trace. And then I check the preview. So it's already done. Then I go to object, expand. Click OK. And then object, ungroup. Object, ungroup. After ungroup, you just select all your white color here, press delete. Select the white color, press delete. And inside here as well, one, two, and three, delete. Okay, after I deleted this, I select everything together, then I group it. Go to object, group. Then I go to my color panel. Window, color. Okay, I need to change from grayscale to RGB color. In the color panel, there is a three lines here. Click and then choose RGB. Then you can change your color. Something like this. Let's say I put white color. And then I bring it over here and then I adjust my size. When you're scaling up or down, make sure you hold your shift key. Dapat tak semua orang? Kirin sir, um, untuk kita buang warna putih-putih tu kan, kita kena ungroup, ungroup, ungroup sampai dia tak keluar tu kan? Ha. Betul? Ya, yeah, dua kali dia. Oh, kiranya dia akan hilang automatik, betul? Bukan, you kena delete dulu. Oh, maksudnya tekan kat uh, permukaan yang kita nak buang tu, tekan uh, tekan tu okay. baru delete macam tu? Ya, yeah, betul. betul. Okay. Se, macam se, se, se nak zoom tu kan? Se hmm. tekan apa ni? Control dengan space bar. Control dengan space bar. Hold your control and space bar, klik dan tarik. Okay, yep. Hold your control and space bar, 
klik dan tarik tempat yang you nak besarkan. Okay, tak kira. Noted. Thank you. <coughs> Dapat tak semua orang? Tracing the image. No problem, tak kira. Noted. No worries. So, how to change to the RGB again? RGB, okay. So, first you select your object. Okay, and then you go to your color panel. Window, color. Okay, you have this uh, color panel. You click these three lines here, and then choose RGB. Three lines. Uh, okay. The, yeah. There is a three lines okay. here, right? Yeah, it's click three. Okay. Choose RGB, then change color. You can change from here, or from the bottom here, or from the toolbar here. Double click the fill color, then you can change. Okay. Thank you. Okay, but mine is not changing, you know, it's still black color. You need to select the object first. Selected already. Okay, and then the color panel, have you changed to RGB? Yes. Can you share your screen? I'm using another computer. Uh, ah, so sorry. <laughs> okay, if you're using two computers, right, no worries. You just log in to your Zoom also. Okay. You can log in using two devices so that I can see your screen. If you have any problem, I can see your screen directly. Okay, just make sure you select your object using selection tool. And then you go to your color panel, click these three lines, choose RGB, and then you change the color using the slider or you can use the color picker from here. Also can make your uh, color panel uh, bigger a bit. Then you can pick the color. And also, you can double click from the toolbar here, fill color, double click and change the color. The most importantly is you need to select the object. If you don't select object, you change color, also nothing will happen. You see, I'm changing my color, nothing happened because I didn't select my object. Okay, guys, did you all learn anything new today? Yes, sir, a lot. Okay, what happened if I select one object and it selected all object? Okay, means uh, you have to deselect first. Deselect means you have to click outside at the white color space here. Then you select again. Uh, Cindy, after image trace, right? After image trace, you have to expand first. You go to object, expand. After expand, you have to ungroup. Okay, you have to ungroup two times. Then you have to deselect first. Deselect and then select again to remove the whatever white color outside. Okay, you have done all that. You, if you still have problem, I need to see your screen or else I can't solve. Okay, so make sure uh, next time, right? Okay, will be next class will be on coming Saturday. Okay, so I'll be sharing you guys uh, with the information. So uh, try to join with uh, all the devices that you're using. Okay, all right, great, great, great. Okay, so hope you really learned something. Okay, you have to keep on practicing. If you have any question, keep it for the next class. Next class also uh, Illustrator. That will be the last class for Illustrator for now. And then after that, we will continue with Photoshop, InDesign, After Effects and all that. All right, so next class will be on Illustrator as well. The topic I haven't decided yet. All right, so for this file, you can save it as AI file. You can go to File, Save. And then the format, you can choose uh, AI file. For example, let's say I just save in my desktop here. Okay, give a name for it. You click OK, save. And then you get another option. You just click OK. Then after that, if you want to export it as a JPEG file, let's say, or a PNG file. Okay, you can go to File. And then you go to Export. Export for screen. Okay, File, Export, Export for screen. And then you choose uh, your location where you want to save it. Okay, number one, where do you want? Let's say I choose my desktop. And then down here, there is a format. Okay, format here under export, it has a few options. PNG, JPEG, SVG, PDF. All right. So let's say, for example, I choose a PNG, let's say. And then I go to export artboard. Okay, so what happened here when I choose export artboard? Okay, it will open up my location. Okay, this is the file that I saved. And inside this one X, okay, this is my 
PNG image. All right. If I go to my view, large icon, sorry, large. Okay, if I open my image, this is what I get. Clear? Sir? Yeah, saya. PNG, uh, nanti automatic letak belakang dia macam dah remove eh, warna putih eh. Um, okay, uh, let me double check eh, let me double check mana dia. Share my screen. Okay, sekarang ni dia kosong. Okay, if I go to check my image dekat Photoshop, let me try to open that. Uh, ah, yeah, ya betul. Kalau you ada background, okay, kalau you ada background, then it will become solid. Kalau sekarang ni kita tak letak apa-apa dekat belakang kan? Kan? Ah, huh? uh, so dia akan jadi transparent. Let me share my entire screen. Okay, I go to my folder yang I save tadi, desktop, 1x, this the my PNG, nampak tak? Dia dah color dah hitam. Okay, hmm. if I open this in my Photoshop, okay, let's say I buka dekat Photoshop. Ah uh, Yes, you guys will be receiving the recorded version of this session. Okay, please, uh, please don't leave first. Okay, I need you to fill up a form. Okay, something like this, nampak tak? Dia jadi transparent. Yeah. Alright, yeah. so yes. Uh, next week is on Saturday, right? Saturday, coming Saturday. Uh, uh, if we register but we didn't manage to attend, can we get yes. the recording? Yes, yeah, you still get the recording. As okay. long as you register, you get the recording. Oh, okay, but we need to register, is it? Yes, yes, okay. betul. Okay, thanks. Tak register, tak dapat. Oh, because I need to, to, to go for a meeting on Saturday, then I can have that time. Okay, okay, yeah. no problem. Okay, before you leave, guys, okay, please help me to fill up this form. Number one, okay, I'm putting in the chat box. Uh, okay, for those who have registered right for today's class, I'll be sending a WhatsApp message. Are you guys uh, in the group, in the WhatsApp group? Okay, for I those don't... who are in the WhatsApp group, I will be sending in the group as well. I don't have a uh, WhatsApp group. Um, uh, okay, so I will send a WhatsApp, the video link. Okay, you guys register dengan, uh, what you call? Ada letak phone number betul kan? Ah uh, yes, Eventbrite. Ah, dekat Eventbrite tu. Okay, so I will send WhatsApp to that uh, number with the video link and also I'll try with the link to join the group. Okay. Yeah. Or you can send to our email, right? Uh, yes, from Eventbrite also. The problem is uh, most of the time, uh, ramai yang tak buka email. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. WhatsApp, dia punya open rate lagi tinggi. Yeah. Sure. Sir, right. macam saya, saya dapat tahu kelas ni ada satu link lah daripada Eventbrite tu. Saya mm -hmm. masukkan saya punya ni lah kan, tempat kan, free satu. Hmm. Ha, jadi uh, nak dapatkan balik maksudnya dia akan automatik hantar link group semua tu lah uh, You follow uh, Brainimation punya tu Dekat Eventbrite Okay if you go to Eventbrite page right You when you search that event Dia punya organizer dia uh, Brainimation kan You click follow Brainimation So next time whenever I create a new event You akan di, dapat email notification Dari Eventbrite Alright sir that's another way lah. Okay, please help me to fill up the form. Okay, and also I need your help to to share a post from Facebook. Okay, this is not I tak paksa eh. I minta tolong saja. Alright, so let me share my screen here. I go to my Facebook. Okay, I want you to uh, search for Brainy Mission Studio. Uh, course name letak uh, Illustrator. It will do. Okay, you go to search for Brainimation Studio and then I need your help to to share the the, the top post yang ini. Nampak tak post ni? Uh, nampak. Okay, minta tolong sharekan dekat you punya wall. Boleh tak? Boleh, no problem. Okay, great. Thank you. Sure, okay. thanks. Yes. Okay, no problem, Noji. Thank you. Okay, uh, please help me to uh, fill up the form. Okay, ada komen apa-apa, you boleh letakkan. And there is a link for Google review. If you feel uh, you have benefited from the training, please uh, help to fill up the review also in Google. Okay, very much appreciated. Okay, no problem. Thanks a lot. 
Okay, so I know today is Sunday and then you you sacrifice all your free times to join to learn something new. That's that's really good. Awesome. Okay. Okay, thanks. 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 Bye. Bye, Tanish. Bye, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay thanks. Yes. Bye. Okay, if you have filled up the form, you may leave now. Thank you so much for attending. Okay, thanks, Suki. Okay. Thank you.